We've got so many structures in our society that are based on trying to force people to do what they don't want to do, either by strong arming them, by bribing them or by threatening them or punishing them if they don't. And obviously that all comes from, well, parenting and school. Persons on the left say, I mean, look at the free market, look at the workplace. It's so authoritarian, it's so top down. But what I think is not understood is that that is completely modelled in school. You have people go through 12 to 14 years of a hierarchical structure of education where punishments, rewards, coercion are the dish of the day. And they have 12 to 14 years of organising themselves in a hierarchical fashion and they go out and recreate workplaces that echo that. And, you know, in the sort of low level management, you can get away with that if you're managing a shop or the floor of a factory. It tends to be when you go higher up in the food chain, those skills don't actually work. It's people who are really, really good at cooperating and who are managing a business over a long distance that actually have really good interpersonal skills because they have to talk with each other and hear each other out and compromise. The funny thing is, the evidence on how people best learn says that people best learn in a cooperative environment, not a competitive environment. So if you create an education system around that, the people who come out of the education the empirical education, the education that's based on the evidence of how people best learn, they've now got, say, 12 to 14 years of learning in a cooperative environment. And they're going to go out and create workplaces that are more like, right, what are everyone's skills? How do we use these skills cooperatively to get the best out of everyone? And if you were in a managerial role, it would probably look a lot more like, right, here's what needs done. You guys go away and make your proposals of how it's going to be done. I'll review it and give you feedback. And then off you go rather than uh, you do it this way, you do it that way. And I think it really needs to be understood by the left that that hierarchical workplace, that authoritarian workplace is not actually a product of the free market. It's a product of the authoritarian hierarchical education system, which trains people to create that kind of market. Yeah, that's interesting. That's what they used to, right? Businesses have to accommodate broken people. Exactly. That's what they used to. So they have a low expectation. So they accept it. But also, they don't have the skills to do differently. They've not got a whole childhood full of win-win negotiation. They've got a lot of childhood full of do what I say or else. And if you do what I say, I'll give you some sweeties or a gold star. Or So they're, they're just used to subtle forms of coercion and not so subtle forms of coercion. So they're the tools that they have got to try and get other people to do what they want. Right. And then we wonder why politics are the way that they are. It's because other society is used to people um, telling them what to do and they're not going to resist. 